we back welcome if this is your first time tuning in and welcome back to all the regulars this is smell good feel good my name is blake i am your local cologne connoisseur your scent savant your fragrance fanatic your pundit of parfum if you will and we're on episode 17 i can't lie i'm having fun doing these videos so no matter where they go or how far they go what feedback i get i'm gonna continue doing them because for the most part i'm having fun but i'm glad to be on episode 17 thank you so much for watching i need y'all to talk back to me though have you tried any of the fragrances that i've review have you checked out any of the list videos what's your favorite fragrance in general let me know holla at me let me know if you started your fragrance journey and if you have welcome to death row side note you know what's crazy every now and then i'll get somebody that'll message me and they ask me like what fragrance should i buy what's a good fragrance i'm not a rude person so i don't like to be rude but my guy i got a whole channel where i'm talking about different quality fragrances 16 of them to be exact watch the videos and find out ugly ass little boy no disrespect intended but watch the videos check them out but today we're on the first official spring fragrance review on this channel i'm excited to get into my warm weather fragrance bag i'm wearing fragrances that i haven't worn since last summer and the one i'm reviewing today is one of my all-time favorites it honestly could have been in my last video but i kind of i kept it in the tuck i don't need to talk about that when it needs its own video so i kind of kept it in the tuck until this video but speaking of my last video if you haven't checked out episode 16 we went over five nice fresh scents for spring videos like that are a great way to find out about decent fragrances quick without having to sit through an entire review video like this one i know everybody's attention span is a bit different so if that's you i suggest you check out episode 16 and leave a comment with your thoughts and not that you ask but what am i wearing today we're not talking about cologne we're talking about shoes this one here is the OG Jordan 17 Varsity Red. This is a top five Jordan silhouette for me. Yes, I said it. The ill thing about these, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, give me one second. The ill thing about these, they came with the red briefcase. They got the padding on the inside with the CD-ROM. This is the first Jordan sneaker to reach that $200 mark. I wanted these bad when I was in high school. But moms wasn't spending $200 on a pair of sneakers. I don't blame her. It would have been dope to have these as a kid though. But you know what's even better? Having them as an adult. Can you imagine if we had these when we were 12? Even better. We got them when we're 40. But we're not here to talk about shoes. We're here to talk about these fragrances. No, I ain't throwing this one. You got me fucked up. How much does these cost? The one we're reviewing today, like I said, is one of my favorites. No, it doesn't get talked about in a bunch of fragrance videos. No, there's not a bunch of hype behind it. No, it's not a crazy high-priced fragrance, but it's a fucking classic. It's just good juice. I love it. It's one of my favorite designer scents, one of my favorite warm weather scents, and just one of my favorite scents in general. We'll get into the full review in just a second, but first, let's check out the presentation. Burberry Touch. So I've worn Burberry Touch pretty much all week. I'm wearing it right now. I'll tell you what I smell like in just a second, but first, let's run down the notes. So Burberry Touch. This one has top notes of violet leaf, artemisia, let me know if I said that wrong, and mandarin orange. It has middle notes of white pepper, cedar, and nutmeg. And it has base notes of white musk and tonka bean. So from the notes alone, one thing that I can safely assume before even trying it is that this one is very well balanced. It has a nice blend of notes that complement each other, but does that translate to the actual wear? We'll find out. Let's give it a spray. Sheesh. So on the opening, I mainly get hit with the floral and powdery aroma from the violet and a clean freshness from the white musk. There's also a faint citrusy brightness from the mandarin orange. And if I squint my eyes and turn my head slightly to the right, I can probably smell the faintest hint of an herbal aroma from the artemisia. As time goes by, the mandarin orange does subside a bit, but it still maintains a freshness and a powdery aroma. By this point, a woodiness starts to develop from the cedar, which gives it more body, along with the spice from the white pepper and a richness from the nutmeg, but those notes never become too overpowering. The dry down of Burberry Touch, Touch, you still see much of the same with the freshness and the powderiness still playing lead from the violet and the white musk. But the tonka bean slips in there to offer a nice contrast with a bit of sweetness and nuttiness for the remainder of the wear. Overall, it just ends up being a fresh scent, but this one has body to it. In the grand scheme of things, this one could easily be classified as generic, but in a world full of fresh scents that all share similarities to a certain degree, I feel like this one is unique enough to stand on its own, at least as far as fresh scents are concerned. I honestly don't have much criticism for Burberry Touch. Touch. But I know what I like when it comes to fragrances, and this one right here is right up my alley. 
pause. But some of the criticism that I've heard about it is generic, it's your typical designer scent, the performance is weak, it smells like a pack of freshly opened diapers. I just don't feel the same way, I disagree, sue me. But the cool thing about Burberry Touch, Touch. is what I call a dumb reach fragrance. A dumb reach fragrance is when you don't know what to wear, you don't feel like thinking about it, you don't wanna rack your brain, you just go to the one that's held you down for years, and for me, that's Burberry Touch. Touch. Okay, I'll stop doing it, like get out your feelings. I just think it's hilarious, watch. Burberry Touch. Touch. That wasn't funny to you? You bugging. Plus, like, Omarion had some slaps back in the day. Don't lie. Like, I would listen in passing if it was on the radio. Like, I, I'll give it a quick vibe check. But I wasn't one of, like, the chest popping old fans. Like, nah, I got pride. But back to Burberry Touch. Touch. This is definitely a warm weather fragrance. Some people may say it's like too cloying for those super hot days, but I still think it's good money. I've even worn it on a few of the milder days in the fall, like it's one of those ones. And it's definitely work safe. It's like one of the more mass appealing, inoffensive fragrances that you can buy, so I find myself wearing this one to work often. The performance and the projection, I could say, are probably both average. Like it'll last you a good six to seven hours, and when you spray it, people will smell it, so it does travel a bit. It's not the golden standard in any of those areas, but it's not weak either. This one is kind of like in the middle of the pack, and it's extremely affordable too especially for a designer scent the retail price for this is $94 but you can find this everywhere online at all the discounters probably for like 30 or 40 dollars spend that you will pay that for a crab boy why won't you pay that to smell good too and then you'll feel good you know smell good feel good but if I had to give this one a rating and yes I'm probably biased I would probably give this a solid 8.75 out of 10 yes it's that good you should give it a try and if you don't like it I probably could think of somebody who will take that off your hands but Burberry Touch, Touch, classic designer fragrance, you can't go wrong. They have this at all the department stores, you can try it out, but like I said, they have it at all the discounters online for $30 or $40, so this is a safe blind buy. You should try it out, blind buy it. If you don't like it, sell it to me, like I said, and I will gladly buy it and double up. But that pretty much wraps this one up. Smell Good, Feel Good, episode 17. And remember, when you smell good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you do good. And when you do good, good comes back around to you. If you're watching this on Facebook, be sure to like, comment, share, Instagram do the same, TikTok do the same, but most importantly, YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you can be notified every time I release a new video, whether a full-length review or a short. But I'm going to gather up my Jordan 17s, head out to Miss Gloria house and pick up that plate. So smell good, feel good. We out. Burberry Touch. Touch. Peace.